President Trump slamming Senate Majority Leader McConnell in another tweet this morning. Here we go. Can you believe that Mitch McConnell, who has screamed at repeal and replace for seven years, couldn't get it done, must repeal and replace Obamacare? Former CKE restaurant CEO Andy Puzder is with us. Should McConnell step aside, resign? Well, look, Stuart, I, I, I have good relationships with the president and with Mitch McConnell. I hate to get in between them. But this is a little like a football game where the quarterback, you know, he, if you lose the game, it doesn't matter if it was because you didn't have support from your defensive line or maybe your receiver fumbled the ball in the end zone. Really, all they look back at is whether you won or lost. And in this case, uh, Mitch McConnell didn't succeed. Paul Ryan, uh, the Senate had a great bill. It was a very good bill. I think it was poorly explained to the public, but it was a good bill. Uh, Paul Ryan got a similar bill through the House. The president stood there ready to sign it. We didn't get it through the Senate. So for whatever reason, uh, you know, if you're the leader, you get credit when you succeed and you get to blame when you don't succeed. The, and and look, he didn't succeed. Look, the fact is we don't have health care repeal and reform and we don't yet have a tax plan. Uh, has it reached the point where the Republican Party understands that you really cannot do this? Do they understand? I mean, there's enormous pressure. Everybody is saying, you can't do this. You've got to do something. Do they understand yet? Because they're still well, on vacation. It, no, I, I'm with you. I think this. I think what's happened in the Senate has, been, has really been deplorable. And there are certain Republican senators out there that just don't seem to understand that politics is a team sport. You know, look at the Democrats, the independents who vote with the Democrats, like Bernie Sanders or Joe Lieberman was for a while. Even the independents support the Democratic positions better than some Republicans are supporting Republican positions. There are some Republicans who, I don't know if they claim they were Republicans to get elected or what they did. I think John McCain engaged in what I'm going to call a revenge vote for what happened yeah. uh, for some things that President Trump said. There, there are some bad things going on in the Senate with some of the Republicans. We had you know, 43, 44 Republicans are very strong supporters of this repeal and replace bill. The other senators needed to get on board. They didn't, and it's embarrassing. It is indeed. Um, now, if you put aside the swamp and if you put aside the North Korea action, so to speak, look at the economy. I think there's some good news there, specifically 6.2 million jobs open ready to be taken. I think that's a record high, and certainly for the month of June. That's a very optimistic uh, report on the state of the economy, isn't it? Is, it? is there still optimism within the economic community? Hey, look, you know, how many records have we set in the past couple of weeks in the stock exchange? And people that are investing, people that are in the stock market, as you know, they look to where they think things are going to go. They don't invest on today. They invest on the future, and they think the future is very bright. That JOLTS report on 6.2 million job openings was the record since the Bureau of Labor Statistics has started compiling that data. We've got unemployment, and the number of people unemployed is under 7 million. It hasn't been under 7 million since May of 2007, which is way before the recession began that December. So we're looking at, at, at real improvements. We had 1.2 million full-time jobs created since the beginning of the year. That means more people are working. They're working better jobs. They, the outlook is optimistic. And you can see you, there was a report yeah. by the... Um, uh, the uh, by a recent report by one of the associations that represents independent businesses that everybody looks to mm. that said optimism had hit a 16 year high. I, you know, it, things are looking very good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just think where we'd be if we got a tax cut. But I'll leave that for another day. Andy Puzder, <laughs> thank you very much indeed, sir. See you again soon. Thanks, Thanks Stuart.